Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I decided to film this highly requested half pony hairstyle. It's kind of like a J-Lo hairstyle. She always rocks this. Khloe Kardashian also wears it, but she wears a more sleek version of it. And a lot of you guys have been asking me to do it for you, especially with extensions, because I know it can be a little tricky. So I decided to go ahead and film that for you today. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial, and let's get started. So you can definitely choose to do this style without extensions, but I love me some her. So I'm going to go ahead and clip some extensions in really quick. And the trick with this hairstyle is that you really want to focus the clips on the bottom half of your head, because you don't want them to be showing up here, like it looks not so good and I've been there. I think we all have, all of us extension wears where your track is showing, but you don't want that so we want to focus on the bottom half. That way we have more hair at the top to kind of cover all of those tracks. You guys know I usually use Bellamy and I use the Dirty Blonde, however I cut those and so they're shorter than I would like and um, I'm just gonna use these for today because I want them to be longer. So um, I don't know if I'd recommend them though because they're already shedding a lot. So anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how to clip them in. It's super simple. I'm just gonna turn around and do it really quick. All right, I'm gonna section off a piece of hair right above that. And I'm fully aware that these extensions, the top of them don't match my roots. That's all right, because they get covered by the rest of my hair. Some people like to tease their hair before clipping in extensions. However, depending on how good your clips are, you don't have to do that. I'm not gonna create a new part for these little wefts here. I'm just gonna clip these in right on top of where I just clipped in that longer weft. All right, so I kind of just stacked them all up like that. I think I can fit one more. I've clipped in all the extensions that I'm gonna be using for this look. I'm not gonna clip any in the top area just because like I said, you guys don't want them to be showing and it's just more comfortable this way. And my hair is kind of a medium length so it's gonna blend just fine. Before I move on to the top part of my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and just wave this lower section really quickly. Now I'm gonna take big sections. I'm picking up my Bellamy six in one curler and I think this is the biggest barrel. I don't know the size, but I'll put it in the description box for you guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this and leave it for a few seconds and do that to the whole bottom section. guys want tighter curls than this, then I recommend using a smaller barrel. Okay, so now we're going to let down the other part of our hair. Usually when I'm doing this hairstyle, it's because I'm in a rush or my hair is kind of dirty, so I don't put too much effort into it, like I said. I'm just gonna kind of run some waves through the, the top half of my hair. So hot under these lights, oh my god. Okay, so I just finished quickly curling my hair, and like I said, I am a fan of waves rather than curls, so all I do after I curl it is I take a brush to my hair and kind of just loosen those waves up, or those curls, just so that I can have just a really simple wave. Let me just say one thing about this hairstyle. It is pretty much like a top knot, so if you guys have tried top knots, you know that the more effort you put in, the worse it looks, and then when you just do it really quickly and you put no effort in, it looks perfect, and that's just the way it goes. I don't actually slick this part back, so I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it. You're gonna take your hands and kind of first pull your hair back. Then as I pull my hair back, I'm gonna use my thumbs to part down the sides. So I'm just going to, just like that. I have a knot. Okay, so after I have done that, 
I'm just going to get a little bit of hairspray because I have a lot of baby hairs. This hairspray sucks. There we go. I'm not gonna spray a lot. I'm just gonna spray a little bit. And I'm gonna take my fingers and kind of run it through. If you guys want to, you can use a paddle brush and really slick this part back, but I just like it kind of loose and messy. All right, so after you've done that, go ahead and grab an elastic or a hair tie and just tie that back. And then after you've done that, go ahead and just tighten it up. And then I'm just pulling out um, little, little sections of this area just so that it's like nice and full. And then I also like that messy look. After we've gotten that part up, you don't really want to see a hair tie because it's not, it kind of takes away from the look. It doesn't make it look that chic. And I have this little gold thing that I wrap around my ponytail usually. However, the last time I wore it, it totally like ripped out parts of my hair. It got stuck and it was terrible, it was a nightmare. So I'm not wearing it anymore, but if you want to know where it's from, it was from H&M. So I'm just gonna take a tiny section of this ponytail from the bottom and I'm going to hairspray it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this around our ponytail. So, I'm gonna start by wrapping it around the hair tie. You wanna do this nice and tight so that it doesn't like slide up. And then you're just gonna go ahead and grab some bobby pins and you're gonna pin that down in the back. Make sure you crisscross the bobby pins because if you don't, then it's not gonna stay. After you've done that, go ahead and give it a nice tight scrunch. Um, I like a lot of volume, so the very last step to this look is um, grabbing a teasing comb, or I have a, just a plain comb here, and I'm gonna go ahead and tease at the sides just so that it's nice and fluffy, because I like it, like I said, a million times messy and big, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift some of this hair here. And I'm just gonna start teasing it, back combing it. Basically just pushing the hair in the opposite direction up towards the root. It's gonna give you volume. So I think that's enough. I'm not trying to get like too crazy. Make sure all that's brushed out. I'm just gonna give it a good, good spray. This little baby hair is down. All right guys, so that is it for my high pony slash Yorkie hairstyle. It kind of looks like a Yorkie hairstyle. If you guys see how people put bows in their little Yorkies and they're like, oh. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that it was easy to follow. Um, I also wanted to quickly mention, a lot of you guys ask me where I get my little heart necklace from and my mom actually got this for me in Tokyo a long time ago and I pretty much wear it every single day. My mom decided to get some handmade for some of my followers because she saw that a lot of you guys were asking about it. So we took it to a jeweler and they are getting handmade and I've already seen them and they look exactly like this. They're so beautiful. So I'm gonna keep you guys posted on Instagram, which is at Desi Makeup, so you guys can check it out when they are ready to be you know, sold. So I hope you guys are excited about that. And then my other necklace that I'm wearing here is from Irie Me Collections and I will link their Instagram down below as well. So that covers everything for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you next time.